what it do what it do traders welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm back with another banger video right so do click that like button as it actually motivates me to continuously help some of you guys and release more content on this youtube channel so please get those likes up it motivates me to continuously do content right and if you're not yet subscribed you can easily subscribe right so in this video i'm going to be clearing out the air i'm going to be teaching you guys um one of the ways um that you actually must use to trade breakouts i know a lot of you i, I know a lot of you guys think that trading breakouts is something that is like this right and then what is it that you wait for you wait for price to break out or maybe retest and then you do it and then you take yourself but for me trading breakouts is a bit deeper than that and i'm going to show you why i'm saying that it is a bit deeper than, than that right so there are things that you really need to consider before taking any uh breakout trade that for instance let us look at this consolidation here right you can see that here we had a consolidation right so now on this consolidation you can easily see that let me just throw this right just throw there okay right so on this consolidation you can easily see that when price was uh, was actually um uh, creating the structure it was moving in a series of fat higher highs higher lows you see higher lows higher lows you see and right now i'm actually on my four hour time frame please take note of that you can see it was forming higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows so this actually means that this four hour time frame is not responsible for creating this consolidating structure right so the time frame that that is actually responsible for creating this consolidating structure must actually give you candlesticks like this right it must just give you a clear 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 consolidation instead of um instead of giving you a, a, a consolidation that has a trend inside a trend right a trend this is a trend inside trend right and th this is the structure that price has actually created on the four hour time frame and we but the problem is we need something like this we need something that is clear something like this right so it actually this actually means that the four hour time frame is not responsible for doing what is not responsible for for creating this consolidating structure so, so you want to to actually find the time frame that is actually responsible for this consolidating stru structure so that you can actually use that time frame to actually trade your breakouts because if you trade on a time frame that is not re responsible for, for for this particular consolidating structure you are likely to get manipulated right you are likely to get tricked uh you are you, are, you know and in, 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 in all those stuff so you really need to find that the, you really need to find the time frame that is responsible for the structure so this is my four time frame let us actually go on our daily time frame to see if we are going to see a clear structure right and there we go there we go beautiful so you can see here now that on the daily time frame right price now is just moving like this right like this right like this there is no trend within a trend on the daily time frame there there are no trends within a trend on the daily, daily time frame there is no trend within a trend so this is the clear structure that we actually want so this actually means that the daily time frame is the one that is actually responsible for creating this uh, structure that actually means that to confirm our breakout we will confirm it using a, a daily candlestick pattern that actually broke out of what that actually broke out of this of that um that actually broke out of this zone right there right so before you do anything find out the time frame that is responsible for that particular trend or for that uh manipulating structure right so moving on right you can see here that if you can take a look at, that is not all right remember i said that this is a bit deeper than you think right you can see here price before price before it actually broke out 
of this zone right it had already given you a bearish property remember i said that before you try and trade your um your your breakouts you must at least try and see a a, a, a bearish property that is if you actually want to sell what is that what is that bearish property that i'm actually talking about it is this you can see we've got a high i mean yes a high we've got a lower low we've got a lower high right and so forth so forth and so on so these this is actually a, 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 an indication right this is, is actually an indication that yes price is actually about to get what to get bullish because you can see that price didn't really wasn't able to reach where wasn't able to reach that zone up there right instead it just came up right creating a new lower high and then it actually moved to the downward I, th there would have been a lot of doubts to me if price actually came there and then uh a, 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 and then um and then retested that zone that zone right there but you can see that price actually failed to actually go up there and it actually gave you a, a, a bearish pro property which is a lower high so that is very very important for you to actually take note of right you can see that price before it actually broke it it had already created a series of lower high lower low lower highs right so what is it now that you actually do after you've actually gotten your daily candlestick pattern right you can see here that this is our daily candlestick pattern right so what you can do here is that you can just simply do what you can just simply enter on the get go right you can enter on the get go but what i'd actually advise you to do is i'd actually advise you to actually mag uh, to actually uh, magnify your entries right that is why you actually go over to your four hour time frame the reason why you're actually going over now to your four hour time frame is that you want to actually find the trend that is actually responsible for moving this price you actually want to find the trend that is actually responsible for moving that um at that price you actually want to see now you actually want to see the lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows because those are actually going to help you enter on the four hour time frame you are magnifying your entries right so let us go over to our four hour time frame and actually see what we actually have there right so now you can see what actually happened right price actually gave you price actually gave you these uh, uh, this was a daily um a candle, remember right and then price now actually came back to do what um, if i can just remove that right you can see that price actually broke out here this is my four hour time frame remember i'm now magnifying my entry and then price actually came back to retest what let me just throw that you can see that price was moving a series of lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and when it actually broke out it actually created a new what a new lower low right there right and you can see that once price actually created then that new lower low and and gave you your your daily breakout candlestick pattern it actually came back to do what to actually retest your flip zone i hope i i, I really hope i'm making sense guys so i've actually man magnified my entries now right so what is it that uh, that you actually do you wait for a candlestick pattern now on the four hour time frame price has already given you bearish properties price has already broken out of this zone now it is actually coming back to retest this four hour flip zone that is why you now magnify your entry and you can see here that we actually had what we actually had our candlestick pattern here on the four hour time frame right actually enter and then you put your stop loss right there and then you take whatever you actually want to take right so um that's 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 literally it guys i hope i hope that you, you I, I i hope that you try and apply what i've actually taught here with price action there is always something deeper right with price action there is always something deep you really really need to dig in deep right price action is actually simple but it is deep and complicated so that's it guys if you found value in this video please do click that like button subscribe if you are not if you are not yet subscribed see you in the next one cool